friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to learn all about cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Do you remember what natural numbers are? Naturally, natural numbers are all numbers. The ones we use to count, to add, to subtract, to do mathematical calculations and also to put things in order. Depending on how we use them, we call these natural numbers cardinal numbers or ordinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are the ones we use to count or to do accounts. The happy Pandy is having a birthday party. How many children are there at his party? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. They are six children. So we can say the number of children at the party is six. That six is a cardinal number. With cardinal numbers, we can also do mathematical operations. We can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Let's try it. Let's add up the balloons. We have to see if there are enough for all of them. We have one, two, three, four red balloons and one, two, three blue balloons. If we add four plus three, the total amount is seven. Seven balloons in total. The result of this sum is 7. That 7 is a cardinal number. What luck! Each child will get a balloon and there will be 1 left over. The cardinal numbers have allowed us to know how many children there are at this party and also to add up the balloons. In other words, the cardinal numbers indicate quantity. Look, look! The Happy Pandy has lined up for a balloon race. They're about to go off. Bang! What a fright! A balloon popped. But which one was it? Was it the first one? No. The second one? No. The third? Not the third one either. It was the fourth balloon. The one the girl in fourth position was holding. But wait a minute. Why do we say the numbers differently now? Well, because we are indicating a position in an order. When we use the natural numbers to order or to indicate the position element within a group, we use ordinal numbers. Ordering, ordinal, ordering, ordinals. It's easy peasy. For every cardinal number, there is an ordinal number. So the cardinal number one corresponds to the ordinal first. It is written like this, a 1 followed with the letters ST in small, 2 corresponds to the ordinal 2nd, 3 3rd, 4 is called 4th and 5 5th, 6 6th, 7 7th, 8 Eighth, nine, ninth, ten, tenth, and so on. See? There's nothing too complicated about it, is there? All quite ordinary, really. It's only really the first three numbers that change their pronunciation. The rest is their number and add th at the end. Now let's review. Natural numbers are all numbers and depending on how we use them, they can be cardinal or ordinal. Cardinal numbers are the ones we use for counting and for doing mathematical operations. They give us quantities. Ordinal numbers are the ones we use to order or to indicate the position of an element within a group. They are used for ordering. 
The race is over! Lau has arrived before anyone else at the finish line. Then Chris and then Fu Chen. Would you dare to say it with ordinal numbers? Of course you would. It's not hard. Lau came first. Chris second. And Fu Chan third. Yes, indeed. And your number one because you understood it the first time. Not the second or the third. <laughs> what a joker. Goodbye, happy friends. See you next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.